PayPal has restricted so many countries from receiving funds into their PayPal account. Well, the reason for this is unknown, as there are so many countries that have been restricted, and we don't even know exactly why it is. But for those of us who are working online, it possesses a very great challenge to the way they will be getting paid through different means. And just like many of us who work online, we have been thinking about ways we can start getting paid from our sponsors or the remote jobs that we do. To overcome this obstacle, I have researched an alternative method for anyone who wants to receive phone and also send phone in the same currency that you register your account. So, this is going to allow you to receive payments and get paid from anywhere in the world. This is an account that has no limit and you are not going to get banned as long as you follow the terms and conditions and every single rules and regulation I will be exposing to you right in this video. Though, I previously made a video about how you can create a verified PayPal account that was 7 months ago, but this particular video aid over the first video. The PayPal account I'm still using today was created with the instruction from the previous video. But the difference is that PayPal has updated some of its terms and conditions and there have been some changes that have started affecting previous users. If you don't know about it, you wouldn't know how to blame with the new terms and conditions. So, if you still have a working PayPal account, then you might not need to create another one. All you need to do is just learn about the rules and regulations. But if you don't have a PayPal account, learn the rules and regulations and how to create one. Everything will be explored in this video. So guys, if you're new here, then hit that subscribe button if you like content like this. So, this video is in part, and in the first part, I'm going to expose to you the new terms and conditions and the new ways you can stay safe from getting banned on PayPal. The second part is for you to practically create a PayPal account that has no limit as there are even a new geographical location. The third part is how you can link your PayPal account to your bank account to ensure a seamless withdrawal process. But before we unveil all this, there are some rules and regulations, just like I earlier said, that you have to follow to ensure that your PayPal account has some extra protection, which will make your account last longer than you ever expected. However, you can receive as much as $5,000 to $100,000 on your account. I aim to address all these issues you might have been facing when it comes to PayPal account. So, if you are interested, Try as much as possible to stick around to the very end without missing out on any explanation as I will show you every single thing that has been giving you nightmares when it comes to PayPal. But before we proceed, if you love content like this one, give this video a thumbs up, then subscribe to this channel with notification turned on if you are new to this channel and watch the entire video to the end because most people, whenever they are watching videos, probably practical tutorials, they usually skip the part that seems familiar to them. In this tutorial, you don't have to do that because there are so many parts that you might be familiar with, but there are some important secrets that are being revealed within that part, or probably some important tips and strategy that you didn't know about before. So, try as much as possible to follow everything, and don't feel that because you know about a particular place, you will skip it off, or probably because a particular place doesn't go well with you, you want to skip to the next place. As far as this video is concerned, you are bound to learn every single part, whether you already know it, or not. Secondly, avoid attempting to practice the tutorial in real time. I mean, at the same time you're watching the video. When you're watching the video, just like when I'm practical for you right now, I may encounter some challenges and at the same time, I may not tell you. It might be that when I want to tell you about the challenges I'm encountering, it may be towards the end of the video. But because you are following in real time, you may actually stumble on the same problem. And you might think that probably you've done something wrong or you might not know how to handle it. But by the time you watch every single part of it without following up, by also practicing in real time, you will learn the beginning and the end. Try as much as possible to take notes whenever you're learning it, so that if there's anything I explain, or probably if there's anything you might forget easily, you can easily jot it down. And you can also try as much as possible to rewatch so that you can get it perfectly because even though I'm practicing it for you, before I became perfect in it, I have sacrificed and dedicated my time and energy and as a result of that, I'm able to grab it and get better at it. Thirdly, ensure that the name you use on your PayPal registration is the same as the name you have on your ID. This is very important because so many people usually make this mistake. Probably because of the name on their ID, they have used it before and they are scared if they open a new PayPal account, they might get banned for it. The truth is, you will not get banned as PayPal doesn't track people with names. They track people with so many other things that are even better than names. 
So, try as much as possible to enter the original name, the original date of birth, and the original details that are written on your ID. This is going to boost your chances of having your paper verified in due time. Now, another crucial thing is to always use incognito mode whenever you're registering for paper, especially for those that have been banned before. Try as much as possible to use another browser or incognito mode. This is going to prevent paper from actually following you up, tracking you down, and knowing that you are the one that have been banned before. So, this is going to make you a new face and your account a new one with paper. So, just try as much as possible to use incognito mode and use a new browser. And if you don't have a new browser, it is easy to just download another one. There are so many browsers out there that you can use and they are going to go very well with your PayPal account. Additionally, refrain from logging into your PayPal account using a PayPal app. You can log in with your phone on your browser, not on your PayPal app. If you log into your PayPal app from a location that is restricted, you get banned immediately and there is no doubt about it because they are going to detect your location where the app is in access and you get banned immediately without any question or answer and you have no way to reinstate your account. So guys, try as much as possible not to log in through the PayPal app. I'll advise you not to even install the app on your phone. Also, treat your PayPal account solely to send and receive funds in the same currency that you have registered. This means that if you register in dollar currency, try as much as possible to ensure that anyone who is sending you phone is sending you in dollar currency. And if you also want to send phone to anyone, don't send phone to a pounds or euro account. I've been a victim to this before. I sent from my dollar account to a pounds account just $20 and instantly PayPal banned my account because now you're exposing more of the things that we have shielded from PayPal. You're exposing it to them. So if you want to send money to anybody, try as much as possible to ensure that the account you are sending money to is also a dollar account. But if you want to send money to a pounds or euro account, create another PayPal account for that so that you can send money from that to that. And if you have a dollar account and you probably need to send money to a pounds account or euro account, it can be easy for you to draw that money into your bank account first, then load that money from your bank account into your pounds or euro account. I think that will be easier than sending money straight from your PayPal account to your pounds account. This mistake is made by many and they don't even notice it at all, so take note of it. Now, here is an important one here. For a more secure experience, though this is optional, you can try as much as possible to use a different internet network. For instance, if you're using MTN to browse your PayPal today, if you want to access PayPal tomorrow, you can use Glow. Maybe the day after tomorrow, you can use Ethel. And the other day, you can use 9Mobile. Or if you are in another country, depending on the country you are in, try using a different network. Now, this is going to change the IP address each time you log in. And as the IP address changes, PayPal won't be able to track any of the IPs because they'll be confused about which IP you're using as PayPal doesn't openly tell people that they don't have to use their national ID card, especially people who come from a restricted country. Now, if you are from Nigeria, you can use your NIN or voter's card. You can use just anyone at all. Some people use their voter's card, but the most internationally accepted ID card on PayPal is your driver's license and your national ID card. These are the two cards that have that information that is welcome and recognized by the international standard. Lastly, avoid attempting to log in through multiple browsers. Maybe you logged in with your Google Chrome today and you're now logging in with your Opera browser tomorrow, or probably you're logging in with another browser that is not even known at all. This is going to trigger a red flag on PayPal and you might be having an issues with solving captured verification which might prompt you to lose your account. Now, before we dive into the practical section, there is one last tip I must tell you, which is very imperative. Avoid using a VPN. So many people depend on using VPN, and as a result, they might want to log into their PayPal account on a particular day and find out that they are unable to access the account because the account wouldn't recognize them. So, avoid using a VPN, clear your browser data, like your cache and cookies, and avoid turning on your phone location. If you're using a PC, try as much as possible to turn off the location on your PC. If you don't know how to turn on the location on your PC, I'm going to show you right now, as all you have to do is simply go to your system preference. If you're using a MacBook, click on the security and privacy, and then where you find enable location service untick the box to turn off your location access and it's done but if you're using a window laptop go to start click on setting privacy 
location, then do one of the following to control location for the whole device. If you are an administrator on the device, select change and then in the location for this device message, switch the settings to on or off. It is that simple. Now, let's proceed with the PayPal account creation. The first thing you need to do is to get started by gathering the information that we want to use for PayPal. Start by searching for the best random Argentina address on your browser. So you're going to click on this first link. And just when you're inside the website, you will see this place where they write 6. So just adjust it to 12. Then generate. What you need to do here is to copy only the phone number and that's all. We need only the phone number. We need to copy the phone number from Santa Fe. Then open your sticky note or your notepad and just paste it there. Now, there's a simple trick I want you to perform. All you have to do is to interchange the digits or edit the numbers. You can just do it like I'm doing right now. Just make sure that the number is not as the same number that was copied. So once you're done with that, take note of the country code. This information is very crucial as it's going to help you during the process of setting up our PayPal account. So guys, the next thing you're going to do is to open another tab again and search for Argentina address with Generator Mix. Generator Mix is another website that people can actually use to generate addresses for any country or any city. And it is the most reliable platform for generating any of them. So once you generate it with Generator Mix on the website, you need to select 12. Just type 12 inside that number box, just like we did the other time. And once you do that, click on generate. Well, I usually suggest that your address is not too long because this is going to ensure that the addresses is valid and is going to make sure that we don't have too much to talk about. Now, to have that peace of mind that the particular address you just search for is a valid address, we need to check for it. Now, how do we do that? All you need to do is to copy the postal code, open a new tab and search for Argentina postal code lookup. Now, you're going to click on this particular one I selected. Just select it and proceed. Once you are inside the website, you will see the place where you can paste the postal code. Just paste it in the field. If the postal code is correct, it will show the city and province just as they are on your generator mix. Alright, so once you've confirmed that the postal code is real, all you have to do is just proceed to copy the entire details. That is the city, the postal code, the address, and the country code. And you can also paste everything right inside your sticky note or your notepad, whichever one you're using. Now we have the details we want to use to create our PayPal account. Then the next thing we need to do is to initiate the PayPal account's creation. So if you should ask the country we are going to be using, I will say we are going to be using Argentina. That is the country I can recommend because their PayPal is very reliable and you can never get banned as long as you follow the rules and regulations. I personally have been using it and I have used it to open for so many of my clients that I'm charging each of them 24,000 Naira. That is like $20 based on the currency exchange rate. So. What you're going to do right now is just visit paypal.com slash AR. Now, this is one of the accounts that is reliable, just like I say, and you are not going to face any challenge whatsoever. Now, if the page appears in English, you're lucky because it usually appears in Spanish. And what you're going to do is, if it appears in Spanish, simply right click on the page and go to where the right translate to English and just click on that. It will automatically translate from Spanish to English for you. Now, if it doesn't translate immediately, there's a particular place up there that just pop up that they write Spanish and English. So you can see that Spanish is selected already. So just tap on English and automatically it will move to the English side and it will start translating the entire page into English. So guys, the next thing to do is just scroll down a little bit and come to this place where we have to sell and receive payment online. Then click on register for free. Please, always remember to translate the page whenever it is displayed in Spanish. Then proceed to fill in your details. Now, provide your first name, your second name, and then your surname. Also proceed by entering your email address and password. Please ensure that the entire number of character amounts to at least 8 characters. Don't do anything below 8 characters. Also, ensure that your password contains uppercase, which is a capital letter, a lowercase, which is a small letter, and also special characters. So this is going to make sure that your account is well secured. And you might not be able to proceed from here if your password is below 8 characters. So just follow the instructions, check the box to accept the terms and conditions, then proceed to create your account. On this particular page, you are required to verify your personal details that you just entered through your email. This doesn't happen all the time. 
All you have to do is to click the following and check your email for a six digit code that has been sent to you. Then enter the code in the field and just click continue. Now your details have been verified. So guys, now that your personal details have been verified, the next thing you need to do is you'll be asked to activate your account so you can start using PayPal now. This is where the entire creation process gets started. So just go down a little bit and click on begin to get started. Now they will be asking you what best describe your business. You need to select an individual seller or proprietorship. Okay. The next thing you're going to be asked is what company are you running? So in this place, you just need to select the proprietorship and then just enter your date of birth and your nationality. Please don't forget to select Argentina as your nationality. Remember, you're claiming to be an Argentine. So, this is where we need to enter the Argentina details that we generated earlier on. So, on this next field, all you need to do is to provide the details that we generated previously. Just go to your notepad or sticky notes and start copying the details one after the other. Copy the phone number and paste it here. Then the address, the city, the postal code, and select the province you're in. Once you're done, just click on the following to proceed. Now, on this next page, you are asked to enter your company details. And we all know we don't have a company in Argentina. So, what do we do about that? All you have to do is to check this box that says you should use your full name for now. After all, if you enter your full name, they won't be asking you for your date of birth or certificate. The fact is that all you need is your ID to verify all that. So, just enter that. Next, you'll be asked for your business registration number. And because we have entered our full name, this one now becomes optional. So just make it optional and don't enter anything here, okay? It is optional. You don't have to bother about it at all. Now, proceed to select your currency. Now, in this particular place, I've always advised people that the currency they select should be in dollar because 80% of money made online platform pays in dollar. And there are some that, even if they use pounds or euro, they definitely have an option for dollar. So guys, select dollars because we want to be getting paid in that particular currency so that it will be easier and our account will last longer. So just select dollars. Now in this place, they are asking you what to sell. All you have to do is select a digital product. And then in this place, they ask if you have a business website. Of course, we don't have a business website. Even if we do, who wants to show them their business website? This is going to give them a better chance to know about you. Just click no because we don't want to expose ourselves to them. With your website, they would definitely know the country you are operating from and we don't want that to happen. So just click no, okay? Here you'll be asked what the business address of your company is. So all you have to do is to choose your residential address. Once you click on that particular box there, you don't have to enter any new address. Automatically, the same address that we generated, which we had entered earlier, will definitely be entered in this particular checkbox. So just click on the following to proceed. On the next page, you'll be asked to choose the place of incorporation. You are just a step away from creating our PayPal account. So select Argentina and click send to proceed. Now, there are some people who think that this particular place is the exact place where they will ask them to upload their national ID card, international passport or driver's license, depending on the ID they have. So you just have to upload it here. But in my own case, here I'm not facing such challenges. And I believe if you follow everything I just showed you, you won't face any of those challenges. So the next thing you need to do is to proceed. And now you'll be told congratulations. They're showing you congratulations, everything is ready now and your account has been set up. So just click on this particular button that says go to the main page. Now, if the button refuses to click, just like you can see, I am clicking it and it's not clicking at all. All you have to do is to right click the button and scroll down to that place where they say copy link. Copy the button link, paste it in the address bar and click enter. Definitely it is going to load. So your PayPal account has been created and now you can find yourself on the dashboard. So guys, we're just a few steps away from getting our account to be limitless. Although this specific account I just created is limitless. There are some people that may face these challenges I'll be showing to you because in some cases, you may come across query that will require you to actually provide your means of identity. Just like it is displayed on the screen, I am not facing this challenge, but you might face it just like it is displayed on the screen. So all you have to do is just click on the error message and proceed to provide your ID by uploading it in most cases. It doesn't take up to 10 minutes and everything will be settled. And just like that, the limits and the ban will definitely be lifted.
However, I didn't face any of those challenges and I believe you won't face any of those challenges either. So far you follow the rules and regulation I advise. But if you do face it, that is exactly how to sort it out. I guess we all will get it right. Now, let's just proceed with confirming our email address. This is very crucial. Once you have done that, you need to verify your email address. As you can see, it is part of the four things that are very crucial that we need to do. So guys, the next thing you need to do is just to visit your email without closing this particular tab. Don't close the tab that contains your PayPal account that you just created. Now, visit your email on another tab. Click on that confirm link. You know that confirm email, then enter it. Now, as you enter it, you can see that it is in Spanish. Remember to translate it into English. Then the next thing is to click confirm your email. And you'll be directed to where you enter your PayPal password. Just like you can see here, and then your email will be confirmed. Now you can click proceed to login. So guys, now that our email and identity has been verified, you may ask if there is anything left for us to do. Yes, there is. And what is that thing? We need to link our bank accounts so we can seamlessly withdraw our funds whenever they are needed. As a result of this, we won't be linking a Nigerian bank account just like we know that PayPal doesn't work for Nigeria. So what are we going to link to? Our USD account. And you might be wondering, I don't have a USD account. Or is it that I'm going to travel to the United States to register an account with a bank or whatever? Well, don't panic because I got you covered. But before we dive into linking that bank account, there is a particular piece of advice I'll give you. And this is the same advice I've always given to specific people. And what is that? Whenever you create a PayPal account, always wait for at least 24 to 48 hours before linking a bank account. This is going to ensure the longevity of your account. I would suggest you wait and just in the meantime, if you're thinking of what to do, if you don't have a USD card, you can watch my videos on how to open the PayPal account, which I posted months ago to see details on how to get a USD card. And if you don't have a USD account and we need one, just indicate in the comment section that you need one and I will make a video on that. But if you already have one, all you have to do is to proceed with this video after 24 to 48 hours. Come here and proceed with the training and you will definitely see how it is going. Now, after 24 hours, we have our account ready and we are going to proceed with our account linking. And to get started with that, all you have to do is navigate to associate a bank account section by scrolling down, then click on select bank. Here you can see they are telling us that we have two options, either to link our bank account or to link our bank card. If you have a USD bank account, you can just go ahead and link it. And if you have a USD bank card whatsoever in any country, you can just go ahead and put in the card details here and you're good to go. But if you don't have any bank card or any bank account, you have the option of opening a new bank account and getting a new dollar card by telling me in the comment section that you would like me to share a video on how to open a virtual bank account or USD pounds or euro account. And definitely I will do so for you to learn everything you need to know about it. So what are you waiting for? Let's proceed. Now, all you have to do is to click on link a new bank account. Now on this page, you need to scroll down and click link a US account. So right here, we're going to be putting the details of our US bank account. So let's quickly go over to where we have that open, which is a visual account. The visual account you have actually created. You can go over there to start copying the details of your accounts to your PayPal account so that it will be linked instantly. So we're going to go to either the GPay or Gray account, depending on which one you're using. Then navigate to where you have the account and you're going to see the bank details. All you have to do next is to click on view details. So the next thing we're going to do right now is to copy our routing number and paste it here. Just go to your PayPal account and paste it there. Then put in the routing number and our account number. The next thing you need to do is to just copy your account number and go back to your PayPal account and just paste the account number right here, okay? Then the next thing you need to do is to click on agree. Now, we want to verify that I'm actually the one trying to link a bank account to my PayPal account. How do we verify that? All you have to do is to go ahead and click on have us call. Why we are doing so is because sometimes when you click on the text, the text don't immediately come to your phone and you may be waiting for so long. So in order for that not to waste much of our time, click on have a call. So once you've clicked on that, the next thing you will receive is a call on your phone. 
and once you receive the call, put the number mentioned to you right on this box. So now the identity has been confirmed as you can see and here our PayPal is trying to confirm if I am the rightful owner of this bank account. So they've sent some cents, just a few cents to my bank account. They want to confirm the exact amount that is sent to the bank account. So make sure that we enter the exact number. We're going to go to our visual bank account and see how much was deposited on our PayPal. Many a times it takes a long time for you to receive any deposit that was made to your bank account. You know for your GPA account or your Gray account, but sometimes it is usually between one to two business days. Based on my experience, you can get it within 12 hours or less. All right, now I'm going to go over to my visual account to get the exact deposit amount. I'm going to insert it here and confirm my bank. As you can see here, all I need to do is click on done. So here, you can see that our PayPal account is ready to go. However, the Gray account and GPay account have always been my favorite for creating a USD bank account. GPay can only create a USD bank account, while Gray can create both USD, pounds, and euro account. All right, guys, if you're thinking of how you can create any of them, all you need to do is to drop a comment telling me you would love me to make a video on how to create them, and I will not hesitate to do so. So guys, if this video is helpful to you, make sure you click on the like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new here, and lastly, help share this video for others to benefit from this exciting opportunity of opening a verified PayPal account. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next one. This is Sam Zero.